stars, it's Kaylee. I am finally back with another unboxing and I got another doll. I'm so excited because I've been wanting this doll for a while and it's been over six months since I was like, yes, I'm going to get her for sure. Um, shortly into that time period, she was back ordered and I live close enough to a store. I wanted to go and pick her out in person. So she was finally back in stock and I was able to get her and I'm so excited because she's part of my collecting goals. Um, as you can see, I'm kind of in a um, newish space. I'm in my doll room, which is really exciting to stay. Um, I've got a few little things in the background here, but I did want to point out it is currently Donald Duck's birthday. This is the day after I got the doll, it's June 9th, and I am celebrating here with Donald Duck because it's his 90th birthday, so how awesome is that? So he's chilling right here just because he's like the cutest thing you ever saw. And I wanted to show you all my t-shirt that I made. It's a Pleasant Company shirt. I found the logo, the SVG of this logo for free. Some kind person put it out on the internet and I made my shirt. So I'm really excited about that. Anyways, this bag is new. I got it at the very beginning of the year, I believe, but it's got the new logo and this big pocket here so you can put like smaller things, but it's the perfect size for a doll box, which is great because you have to pay for bags when you go to the American Girl store in Chicago, at least. I don't know about the other locations, but this is cool because this bag was eight bucks. I don't know if you could have already guessed who I got or some of you probably already know, or maybe I shared it in the thumbnail. I don't know, but I am so excited to finally have Kaya. So I do wanna point out a couple things about her and talk a little bit about that experience. So during the like sale, so that second weekend in June, there was a sale for World Doll Day and there was $20 bonus rewards if you bought an American Girl doll. So I thought, perfect opportunity, let's go. My husband said, all right, let's go get you Kaya. She's in stock in Chicago. We don't have anything going on this weekend, let's go. And I was really excited because I got to meet Nadia, Devil Claws. Um, we didn't get a picture because I suck and was like, well, we'll get one later. I'm starving. I'm going to go eat. And then she already had to leave. So it's fine. Someday I'll get to see her again. But it was so nice to meet you, Nadia. You're super awesome, which I knew you would be. But it was so great to meet you in person. And I can't wait to meet more of you probably in person. So anyways, Kaya. So if you can't tell, this is the new American Girl logo with the star in the middle there. Which I like the way this logo looks but I know that a lot of people are concerned in general about things changing. I get it, I can't stand change either, but I think that this is a fine change. Now what comes with it is another thing that there's a lot of controversy about. We'll talk about that in a minute, but I don't know, I don't have a comparison of what the box looked like before. So maybe some of you know, um, but here's, other than the logo, here's Kaya, and <laughs> she looks so funny just chilling there, but here she is. So when we went into the store, there were only four Kayas. Four, that's it. Four Kayas in stock, just four. I just can't believe how few there were. And it was so disappointing that there were only four to choose from because I like to go through them. However, it made my decision simpler. I took all four of them off the shelf and my husband uh, helped me look at them. He picked one up, I picked one up. And the one I picked up is this one right here. The one he picked up is the one I almost went with, but her hairline was off. But he said that their faces were very similar. So I decided to go with my gut. Normally I pick the one that he picks, which is funny, but normally he ends up picking out the doll, I feel like, I don't know. But I'm pretty pleased with this one. I'm really glad I got to get her in person. If there's flaws on my doll, please don't tell me because that'll just make me nitpick and I won't want her anymore. I will dislike her. But all right, let's get open Miss Kaya. Another disappointing thing that came with this change is the cost. The cost did increase for Kaya uh, and all the other named dolls, which is disappointing. $10 increase. Um, so basically that $20 bonus reward was like only $10 because the doll was already $10 more. Here's Kaya's book. This is quite thicker than um, some of my other dolls. I have Kaya's original first two books that came out when Kaya came out at the very, very beginning. And I don't know how it compares to this one. I have read Kaya's first two books, but it has been forever since I did. This is the abridged edition, it says. I do really like Kaya's logo, like with her name. I think that's really pretty. Okay, here is my Kaya. I just think she has just like the sweetest face. 
I don't know. I love her. I am nervous because at some point I am going to want to take her braids out. And I've heard that her hair is uneven after you take the braids out. So that's disappointing. She is so gorgeous. I just think that she's so sweet. I'm so excited for her. I've, I'm renaming her. Um, if you didn't know, I rename all of my dolls because when I was a kid, I didn't have that opportunity. Pretty much they had to have the name that they were given. And I felt some kind of disconnect with that. And I have been naming my dolls something different so that I have more autonomy over it. Let's get her out. I have to be really careful because she's got all this fringe. I'm afraid to cut her. Let's try and flip her. This seems like a bad idea. Oh, I could feel her fall a little bit. Okay, so now is the part a lot of people like too. This the satisfying <laughs> neck pop. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure how her hairnet, I have no idea. This is gonna be interesting because her braids are not in a hairnet. So how do I get the hairnet out? Well, I'm like, I don't wanna give her a shine mark. Okay, we're gonna go over by the ears, I guess. Gosh, this is confusing. Okay, finally found a space here. Oh, ended up pulling her hair, cool, great. But like, what? Okay, there's holes in it for her braids, but now I messed up her hair. Okay. Well, learn from my mistakes if you have a Kaya or cut the hairnet off. That was not satisfying. That was very disappointing because now I messed up her braids. Well, whatever. She's still cute. Okay. On the plus side, she has very tight limbs, which unusual for an American Girl doll that I get from the store or from, from them actually. Maybe it's all of this material, but she is also newly reboxed at least. So maybe that means she hasn't been chilling in a box forever. She does have very flat, the back is very flat, but here she is. Um, I don't know if there's anything that, is she in focus? Okay, I don't know if there's anything about her that looks different to anybody else other than, you know, that I just messed up her hair. You can tell me if there's any differences that you notice from the most recent iteration of Kaya versus this one. She just, oh, I'm so mad about this. Okay, learn from my mistakes, people. Learn from my mistakes. I should have tried to watch somebody else's video. This was the most complicated doll to unbox for sure. I really wanna take her shoe off, but I don't know how to get it off. She has a star foot. That was one of the things that we were thinking that because now she has the star here in the middle that she would have a star foot. She does. I think it's cool, at least for a while, she's gonna be the only doll I get from American Girl, probably, maybe, we'll see. The other dolls in my wish list currently, my main wish list are retired dolls, so I'd have to get them secondhand, or potentially Covey. I don't think Covey would have the star foot because she was released last year. Lila is another one, but I don't know if Lila has the star foot or not. Okay, you untie the shoe. Wow, that's very complicated. We should just call this video, watch Kaylee struggle to get a shoe off of a doll and all of this other things. Okay, can you see? Yep, star foot. I actually think it's, Fine. I don't mind the star foot because I think that then that means like if you were to see this doll somewhere, you are you know it's an American Girl because there's a star on its foot. So I'm okay with it. I have not decided which tribe she'll be a part of. Now she's gonna be a modern girly. She's not historical. So, you know, she's living in modern times basically. So that is part of her heritage. My idea is that she's part Irish and part Native American. Cherokee or Potawatomi is my main thought right now, but she's just so beautiful. I'm renaming her. Her name is going to be Tallulah. Katara Mason. If you don't know this about me, my American Girl dolls all have a different letter as their first initial. Tallulah is an Irish name. There's also some Native American heritage with it. She's probably gonna be called Tala for short, but I am Irish, so I wanted to have some of that 
heritage with her. Plus, I really like the name Tallulah. My younger cousin, she had a turtle named Tallulah. When I was thinking of names that start with T, that was one of the names that had come up, and I really, really like it. So I made her a little necklace that has a turtle on it to kind of symbolize that. <laughs> then Katara is for Katara from Avatar The Last Airbender, which is a show that my husband really, really loves, and I love too. And she is from the Water Tribe. My favorite were the waterbenders in that show. Plus, her name starts with K, like mine. And also, like Kaya. Mason is my grandmother's maiden name, and it is believed that she had some Native American in her heritage. My grandmother had very dark features, and I didn't really get to know her very well because she died when I was like two. I wanted to honor her a little bit with this character as well. Let's talk a little bit about her outfit. So this is like faux leather, a little tie, but there's an elastic underneath it. These are like shell, but they are on little elastics. And then this is like beaded, like stitched and beaded. She has um, a belt too beads on here. She doesn't have any underwear, which would be period accurate. So I'm really, really happy I got her. I think she just has the sweetest little face. I love her so much. She's so pretty. She's also very like huggable, I feel like. She's sturdy, but she's like, I don't know. I was expecting her to be smaller just because like Plotty has a very small body and this is a newer doll. So I figured that would be the case too, but they also probably don't want to remake the outfit. So that's something. Um, all of this is just Velcro in the back in case you were curious. And you saw me struggle with the shoe, but inside the shoe it says, it has the American Girl tag, and it's just this, I mean, it's just soft. There's no like soul to it really. And then it has the little ties on there. Um, they did have this when I got her too. If you are wanting this outfit, it is sold out on the website. So if you want this outfit, see about trying to get it. So this is the powwow dress of today. So I wanted to have something modern, but still representative of the heritage. I haven't taken it out of the box yet. So this is the way it's in here. Oh, there's not a little like pamphlet. That's disappointing that tells you about it. Well, okay, so this is the dress. I don't, I don't know much about this yet. I'm still doing some research right now, but this is the power dress of today. Belt is not sewn on, so that's something to note. It's got this beautiful though, it's like a, like an embroidered ribbon. I don't know. And then this part is embroidered. Wow. This is very detailed. How much is this? This is $44 normally. But this is, this is gorgeous. And I love the colors on here. Pink, purple, blue. Some of my favorite colors. I, this is gorgeous. Wow. This is very, very detailed and very, very high quality. This is very pleasant company quality, I feel like. But of all the dolls to deserve it, Miss Kaya definitely does because she's so unique and so crucial to the story of American history. I just think that that's, that's really awesome. But yeah, so this is gorgeous. And then these are the boots, um, Velcro backs, and it's the same pattern and it's like embroidered on there. Kaya has had many powwow dresses of today, a few a few different iterations. This is my favorite and I wanted to make sure I got it before it was completely not available. When I saw it in the store before, I was like, yes, I don't have Kaya yet, but I'm going to get her. That's 100% definitely a given. Not only does she add to my goal of having every single face mold, but it's just so important. And she is the last character that I remember specifically like coming out when I was still collecting. This is mine from childhood and it's the American Girl Collection tin. I don't know what came in this. So this copyright 2003 Pleasant Company it says on here on the back, but there's Miss Kaya. But so she was number eight. She was the last one that came out while I was still collecting. So I thought it was so important to have her just kind of like full circle. I did enter a contest to win her when I was a kid and uh, I didn't win, <laughs> but um, my mom had gotten me a couple of the books when they had come out. And then after Kaya had come out, I kind of put everything away. I'm not gonna take this out of the little baggie right yet. These are embroidered feathers. Um, then the same pattern that's on the shoes and the dress, a little embroidery, and then it's a little like hair pick. So it can go right in the back of her head.
if you made it all the way to the end of this video, definitely make sure you are following me on my Instagram, that you're subscribed to this channel and you leave a like and a comment down below. If you wanna watch more unboxing, I have a whole playlist for that. Thanks for watching, bye!